Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do the daily tarot reading for the 8th of June 2022 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. And remember these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released. We have the Five of Swords, Four of Cups, The Fool, Temperance, Eight of Cups, The Hanged Man, The Wheel of Fortune, and we have the King of Cups. King of Cups can be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, male or female, can be the energy of the, energy of the card. Uh, can be somebody who's very intuitive, so that could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. Uh, Heart-centred, kind individual generally. There's a feeling here of somebody who is considering walking away, removing themselves from a situation here uh, because there's a feeling of conflict. Uh, and the only way to end that conflict might be to remove yourself from it. Uh, it could well be somebody might have been, it could have been some kind of behavior, somebody doing what they wanted to do and disregarding the other person, disrespecting the other person, might, might have brought the situation to a head is what I'm getting. Now this could be in love, romance, relationships, it could be in business. Again, the message is what's important here. There's an offer being made in this situation because someone is actually thinking about walking away, turning their back on, on this situation uh, because it stops somebody being conflicted or being in a situation of conflict, unhealthy disruption, negative energy. So there's a feeling here of someone really considering walking away, but considering somebody's offer, I'm not going to walk away just yet. I'll wait and see. So again, this could well be if something happened in a relationship where the other person had behaved disrespectfully, um, and there's levels to that clearly, this would be an energy, well, I won't walk away just yet. I'm going to think about your offer. This can also be an energy in a work situation, for example, if there has been somebody stepping over the other person, uh, again, doing what they need to do to advance themselves or to, you know, put themselves first to advance their career. Uh, could be a very ambitious energy here. And similarly, there's an energy here of, I'm walking away because I'm done with this. I'm not being treated this way. I'm not being treated in this manner. Again, in whatever way this is, um, there may well be some kind of offer of appeasement here. And there's a feeling of waiting, waiting on liberating yourself from this situation because you're waiting to see if they're going to live up to their promise or offer. So there's an energy of, okay, I won't go just yet. I'll wait. But there's almost like a feeling of one foot in this, one foot out the door, but I'm going to wait and see if you're really going to turn something around, if you're actually going to actually do what you say you're going to do and be in that truth to restore balance and harmony in all of this. So, there's a feeling of, I'm going to wait and see if you're going to do what you say you're going to do and see if things can truly be turned around in a positive way and bring positive change. But there's a feeling of, this is a stay, a stay on a decision, but the feeling of, let's wait and see, I'm reserving my judgment right now, but I'm... I'm going to wait and see and not do anything and just see if things do change. So that's what I have for the day here. Um, it's an interesting reading because there's just this feeling of, I mean, these, these readings are only for a few days, but the advice would be to wait and see if things do change. And then you know fully, really, how something's going to play out because this is an energy here of if this person has behaved this way before they're going to do it again and a feeling of they could be 
they could be the engineer of their own downfall in that respect, you know, because this would be an energy if you do it again and walking away. So there's a feeling of you're giving them the, the space and time to prove themselves if they really can turn something around. But equally, you know, that space and time is given to them to make something positive. But equally, if they're if they're going to mess up, there's a feeling of that would be the end of it is what I'm getting here. So it's almost kind of like someone's being given a, a kind of trial, a trial period to see if this is going to change or not. And again, take whatever whatever context this is for you. That's the message I have. So let's pull a card. I want to pull an angel card, so let's go with it. Final message for this reading, please, angels. Final message for this reading. Fine. Thank you. We have 1360. That you might be seeing combinations of that number. This is a confirmation that your earnest prayers and affirmations have been heard. You are attracting what you have desired to manifest in your life. Expect an uptick in blessings and miracles being realized in the 3D. Well, that's lovely. That number also does add up to 10, which can actually be the transmutable energy between endings and beginnings, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the opportunity to bring change um, and give somebody space to see if they can bring change or not is the case. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thank you.